So this short presentation explains to you uh, just what an annotated bibliography is and looks at what you need to do to get your assignment 3 started uh, for essay writing for university. So before you begin the annotated bibli big bibliography task, which is assignment 3, you need to make sure that, um, as we talked about in week 7, you've completed the first two um, of the Let's Go activities in Module 4. So that was analysing our topic um, and clustering or mind mapping or brainstorming your prior knowledge. And so that the purpose of that was for you to settle on and decide which two problems you are going to research um, in your annotated bibliography and then write about in your research essay. So the slide notes there that you might like to look ahead at activity 4.3 and 4.4 but you can get started with the annotated bibliography task even if you haven't done those. So the most important thing is that you've decided on the two problems you're going to be researching in relation to our topic which is stated here again on this slide. So you're looking for two problems that our Australian lifestyle has created for the natural environment and you're also looking at for information about ways those problems are being addressed. So in short you're looking for information about the problem and you're also looking to see if you can find information and research about solutions to those problems. So you might have at this stage some idea of what you want to say about the problems and your take on the topic for our for last two assignments but you also need to be aware that as you do some research and some reading um, and as you find useful academic sources and in the in the process of compiling the annotated bibliography your ideas might actually change so you have to be ready to be a little bit flexible. So an annotated bibliography is um, quite a fancy little bit frightening sounding term for something that's actually quite straightforward. So a bibliography is another way of saying a list of sources. So sometimes people use bibliography and reference list interchangeably. They're not actually the same thing. So a bibliography is a list of sources that you've consulted and researched, used to research your topic but they may not necessarily be actually referenced or cited within the final essay. So this annotated bibliography that you're going to produce, you're going to find four sources in relation to your problem, four different sources, but it doesn't actually mean that you're going to use them as references when you write your research essay. You might find other ones, you might decide they're not very useful, um, but you just have to find four sources at this stage in relation to your two problems. So usually a bibliography does look like a reference list in that it's a list of citations um, with the, with the um, publication details, but when we add the annotated part to it, that means that after each citation you include a short summary and evaluation of the source. So that's what an annotated bibliography is. It's a list of sources but each one has a short um, comment or paragraph about what it's about and how useful it might be for you um, with your research towards the topic. So as you're going along and you're looking at the sources that you find, you might be thinking about the problems that you're investigating. Is this res resource that you found it might be a newspaper article or a journal article or a book or um, a document on the web? Is it actually related to the problem that you're investigating? So that goes back to your analysis of the topic and your decision on what problems that what problems you're going to research. You also have to decide what kind of material you're actually looking for. So in our assignment you're asked to find four different types of resources. So that means you cannot in your annotated bibliography use four books, you cannot use four journal articles, you cannot use four government reports. They have to be different. So you might have a book, you might have a government report, you might have an article from the newspaper and you might have um, a DVD. So that's four different types of resources. 
and also keep an eye out and see as you're starting to research your topic you're going to find um, hopefully lots of information um, and some of it might uh, keep referring to uh, the same book or the same report that might have been published or written about it. That's giving you a hint that that's a key uh, piece of research on your topic so you might want to then go ahead and try and look for that as well. So in completing this task um, in essay writing for university, you're actually drawing on some skills that are taught in prep skills for university, which you're all, you will either be doing this term or you will have completed in a previous term if this isn't your first term of steps. So the information literacy component in PSU um, went through how to effectively use the library, how to search the library catalogue um, and other information sources and now you need to be able to hark back to that and apply those skills in combining keywords, in formulating search strategies um, to find resources about the two problems you have chosen. So, in our annotated bibliography, you're also going to include a short uh, description of how you found each resource, each of your four resources, and you'll see this in the model um, that's on uh, Moodle as well. So you need to be able to describe the keywords that you used, uh, whether you limited your search by date or type of resource, um, or whether you um, used some keywords and they didn't work so you tried some other ones and they were better and gave you a better return of sources. Um, so that is something that's really important because we want to be able to see that you've got the skills to be able to research in an academic way as you prepare not just this essay but as you go into undergrad as well. So part of what we're assessing is that you've got those basic information literacy skills. They're essential um, for you being able to succeed in your undergraduate study. Um, sometimes you may find that once you get into your undergraduate degree an annotated bibliography might be part of a larger assignment or it might be a standalone assignment as well and many undergraduate courses include annotated bibliographies as part of their assessment so by having this experience here in steps you would be well prepared um, for that eventuality. So your annotated bibliography needs to only contain four sources uh, but you will see if you've read ahead and read the task description for the research essay which is assignment four we expect a minimum of six sources preferably more than six that's the minimum um, so the four sources that you use and find here in the annotated bibliography assignment may well be four sources that you use when you write your essay also um, but then again you might find that they're not as useful as you thought they were and they won't appear in your research essay either way is fine because part of this task is about evaluating how good um, the sources you're finding are going to be for you in writing about the problems that you've chosen. So to do the best job on this assignment you need to use the template that's provided for the annotated bibliography so make sure you've downloaded that from the assessment um, link on Moodle for assignment 3 Look at the models that we have provided for you of annotated bibliographies to get a better idea as to what is expected and um, really make sure as with all assignments that you do that you've read the task description and the requirements um, in the course profile and the task sheet and look at the help sheets and submission guidelines also and follow them very carefully and as always if you're not clear or you just want to double check that you've got everything in um, in order for this assignment make sure you ask questions of your um, lecturer so there's a couple more videos about the annotated bibliography that go into detail about how to um, work with your search strategies and how to do your evaluation um, and if you watch those and also read the accompanying material in the study guide uh, you should do a good job on this assignment.